I was 17 years old and I was living in Hobart, that's where I grew up, and there was only one acting agent in the whole of Tasmania at that time who happened to be um, a, one of mum's friends and they played tennis together. So Gwyneth asked my mum if I would be interested in doing a voiceover and could I bring a friend along? And it was for a, a, a cold and flu um, ad. My friend happened to have a very nasty case of bronchitis at the time and we were a hit and I do believe we spent our earnings on a trip to the pub. Look, I would have to say some of the narrations that require um, some knowledge of medical terminology, those can be really challenging. But, you know, I grew up in a, a sort of a medical household, so it's not completely unfamiliar to me. But, yeah, I reckon, you know, that's quite hard saying anaesthetist quickly <laughs> in a sentence. Well, I like the, the fast rate of the work and I like the variety of the work, but to be honest with you, I like the people most of all. Working with different people all the time and not having, you know, one particular wor workplace. I really like being able to move around and have a lot of flexibility, so. I was doing... Um, a, a commercial for um, fresh vegetables and the <laughs> engineer finished it off with a fart for me. <laughs> Sorry, just did a fart sound effect and, but I don't think you want that in your program. <laughs> I think because I'm an actor, I, I have a love of words and so I enjoy words and I enjoy bringing words out um, to the fore. But I've also got great characters and I've got a lot of flexibility. So um, I think that's probably my greatest strength is my flexibility. I can do pretty hardcore retail and some pretty interesting character work as well. Look, I am really proud of some of the, the coal stuff that I've done. Um, and um, some book narrations that I've done as well. I think it's pretty difficult to read through a whole Mills and Boone book and sound really interested. Yeah, but after you've done it a few times and your, your mouth learns how to do it, it's fine. I had one... Uh, uh, Lint Lindor Lantern Chocolates was quite difficult. Lint Lindor Lant I can't even do it now. Lint Lindor Lantern Chocolates. To say that quite fast in a retail thing, that was quite difficult. So there are some things like that where there's a bit of alliteration that, um, and there's a lot of moving of the tongue, etc. Because she's the best agent bar none I've ever had. I think Kathy and Catherine and Kay have a, an attention to detail and they're careful who they take on. They don't take on too many voice artists, so they focus very much on you and what they can do for you, but also what you can bring to the agency. So in that way, it's a really nurturing environment and I don't feel overlooked or overshadowed or any of those things which I have felt in other larger agencies before. Pretty much it's a cup of tea and a chat with whoever, whoever I'm working with. I think once you've been using your voice for a long time, you really know how to use it and what it needs. And if I'm driving in and my voice feels a little tight or tired or something like that, I might sing along to a song that's on the radio or something and just get things moving, but I, I don't do too many uh, tongue twisters or anything. It's a changeable voice. It's, it can be very bright and sunny and light and clear and crisp. And it can also be very warm and deep and 
uh, sort of intimate and intellectual.